Hello Caravan fans, I am Cesar Sanchez and today I have an interview with head coach of the Caravan football team, Jordan Lynch. Coach Lynch, thanks for being here today. Yeah, Cesar, thanks for having me. Of course. Uh, first question, what are you feeling right now? Your team is 8-0, they've kind of streamlined through this regular season. What are your thoughts right now? Yeah, so far, um, you know, we, we've had a great year. Um, we didn't know kind of what to expect. Um, we're still trying to early on learn our identity of our team. Uh, but the kids came out, and you know what? Our, our senior leaders have been really great, and it starts with our captains, our five captains, and uh, trickle-down effects with, with the seniors from there on out. And it's a bunch of group of kids that love football and that come to work every single day, and um, it's a fun unit to be around. Um, you know, we, we have Brother Rice um, tonight, and, you know, we take it one game at a time. Um, Brother Rice just so, so happened to be the next opponent, and the kids are excited. You know, it's at our home field. Um, we should have a great fan base, and, you know, we're going for the perfect season. Obviously, the season is far from over yet, but in your mind to this point, what's been the biggest win so far? Man, I, I've been at programs where it's been hard to win. Um, so we definitely we count our blessings, we count our wins as, as they go on. Um, no win's bigger than, you know, another. Um, you know, it, it's always great, though, to, to play those Catholic leagues and the Catholic League blue teams, especially with our, with our conference and our schedule this year, playing those teams and even out of conference, playing the, um, you know, the uh, main south, mm -hmm. then going right after back to back and playing Loyola. Um, it's a team that can stay healthiest at the end of the day. We'll have the best shot. And, you know, we uh, we've been pretty fortunate to, you know, not be in that training room too often. So. And in speaking of the kind of tough teams, you guys have really faced a tough schedule to this point. How has the coaching staff, led by you yourself, gone to make sure the players are focused and prepared for each and every tough game? Right, it's tough um, playing this schedule. You can't get too high or you can't get too low. Um, and, you know, we had a lot of high moments, you know, since we, we are 8 0. But it's uh, the, the kids, you can't get them too up. You got to treat it one game at a time. Um, because the next opponent, if you get two up, you, you can overlook them. And they're just as good as the opponent you played before. So uh, we have a great challenge tonight, though, against Brother Rice, who's a team in the Catholic League Blue, who was in the 8A state championship last year and had an undefeated season going into that game. So it's uh, it should be – they're well coached. It should be a great challenge for us. And looking back kind of the season as a whole, this is the first year now at the new beautiful Barter Dowling Stadium. How do you think the effect of that home field advantage has changed the course of this season? It's great. The kids are buying into it. You know, this is the first class to actually have a home field here at uh, Barter Dowling Stadium. And big credit, too, go out to our, our student section. They have been unbelievable. They come up with different themes during out, uh, throughout the week, and they even travel well. Um, you know, when we played at Maris, I, I've never seen a fan base like that that we traveled that well. Um, so it's great to see the kids get excited about it and everyone loves playing there. And um, to this point this year, you've obviously had your brother, coach or quarterback, Justin Lynch, as your starting quarterback. How has that kind of back and forth been with your brother as the leader of your team? It's been great. Um, you know, a lot of people, when I first got the job, a lot of people brought that up. and. You know, it was just as much pressure on him than it was on me. Um, what makes it so easy, though, is he's a good kid um, on the field and off the field. He, he takes care of his business, and he doesn't want to take any shortcuts because I'm the head coach. He wants to go about his business and not even worry about that. Um, it's coach on the field, then, you know, when it's done, it's, it, it's brother talk. Um, so he, he, he's been great. He, he makes it very easy on myself um, to have a brother like that on the team. And lastly, what's been your favorite part of coaching this Mount Carmel team? Just being around, being around this group and being around the seniors, most importantly. Um, you know, it, there's kids from all different types of backgrounds. Um, and as I go throughout the season, you know, we have our captains, we have our seniors talk, and you learn more and more about your team, and you learn more and more about your seniors on why they're here and why they chose Mount Carmel. Um, and you know, it's pretty special at the end of the day. And that's what, that's what this is all about is, is building those relationships and you know, making sure you're taking care of your seniors to go on to the next level that they're ready for life. Um, whether it's football or in, the, um, in college or in the business world, we're, 
we're preparing them for um, real life. So, Coach, thanks for being here. Coach Lynch and the Caravan are going to face Brother Rice this week. It'll be a good matchup and one that we hope this Caravan team will be able to finish. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Thanks, Caesar.